Right folks, so in today's video, I've got a bit of a treat for you. It's another RV Co, and it's pretty damn awesome. Right folks, so this is Mark. That's the YouTube channel, Ivor Van. I'll link it in the description, of course. So, first question. I haven't sold it up, but I reckon it's about 15 grand I've spent. Yeah, so what did you spend on the van itself? Uh, about two, just under two and a half. Two okay, and a half. Yeah. But I bought a caravan for two and a half. No, it's, that was nearly three. Yeah. To use all the parts inside it, because it was three grand cheaper. Yeah. To use all the caravan parts then, to buy them individually. So this is another caravan donor job yeah. kind of thing. That's right, yeah. Your cab definitely has had some changes. <laughs> there you go. Well, obviously, we've got new seats for a kick off. Hey, you! I didn't notice that. Yeah, I've got my switches up there. Oh, good lad. But um, you do have to dick around, do you, to try and fit them up in this console bit? Yeah. A bit tight. But therefore, my um, work lights in the front, my light bars, I've got two, I've got one in the grill at the bottom, more than 52 inch one on the uh, Roof there. The one is for the air switch for my radio because when I isolate the van battery, it comes on and flattens the battery, so that's why that's in the off position there. Yeah, like right. so. so, you got a custom stereo, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it's just a cheap Chinese, I think it's a 10 inch screen. But what I can see on the MBC inside the uh, habitation, you know, the screen, the computer screen, yeah, there, I can see on there. Oh, wow, and nice. that operates all the working lights right way around the, the van. I can show you on the MBC, yeah, you yeah, like do that. So it's the same display that was in the back. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, I've got, got obviously sat and having all that. Got the seats in here as well. That's right. What are they from? They were P38 Range Rover seats. So what, 1995 onwards, I think. Yeah. So I bought the full interior. Yeah. For about 200, 220 quid. So the back, I've got the back seats as well. So. It's not horrendous money, is it? No, really, when no, you think about it. Yeah. No, so you got your diesel heater tank tucked behind there. Yeah, that's just behind. I, don't, well, I can't put the seat for because I'm isolated. But that's just behind there. It's just for easy for fitting. I was just about to say. You see, that's smart. Mm. The way I have mine is not smart. Yeah, yeah. Well, where have you got yours? Tucked right inside the garage, so I have to do the jerry can inside. Oh right, yeah. Tipping it up. But my filler cap for the main tank is on this side. Yeah. I'll just go like that. That into the yeah, tank. Yeah, that's that's smart. That's easy. Um, I just, I just thought it was just easy for me to do it. <laughs> and you got the uh, the bulkhead. That's right, yeah. All that lever X there, like uh, a Bentley diamond <laughs> quilted pattern lever X. So it's all very well done, man. It looks, it yeah. just looks like proper professional. Oh, thank you. So what do you do for a living then? I'm a forklift engineer or a material handling engineer for possible. So nothing to do with fabrication. Or... This is I've done nothing like this before. Yeah, I've done nothing like this. Um, Besides building the garden room in the uh, garden, but yeah, this is my first one yeah, and last one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how long has it took you all together? Nearly two years, nearly two yeah. years. Yeah. So that door there passes through into the back. Yeah, that's uh, it's, it's got a lock on it, uh, deadlocks, so no one can get in. Yeah, uh, and the got the, yeah, the peephole which I'm stealing because <laughs> that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I've got no cameras on the van, so I can't see out the front without that. So yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. Should we go through into the back? Yep. There we go. So that door comes through into the back there. There you can see peephole there. That is a brilliant idea. <laughs> so you got a bit of overcab storage. That's right, yeah. I've just saw my camping gear in there, like uh, my oh, ju jump off stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save you. Just general uh, camping stuff in there, like so spare sleeping bags, rucksacks, yeah. GoPros. It is all insulated, it's insulated at the top, and you know whether you're roof lining, it's all insulated in there as well. Yeah. So, what insulation have you got? It's PIR insulation, it's 50 mil. Is that all. like Celitex kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, Celitex, things yeah. It, And it's it's encased with that stuff, 50 mil all around. A little radio up there. Yep. And then, you, is, so all this storage, this is from the caravan. These, the, the, doors. The, do the doors inside, as long as nothing's going to drop out. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I've, I've built a, fra a lightweight framework in there. Cut down these do doors because they've got a bit of a curve on them. Yeah. If I didn't cut the doors, doors down, it would be about there. So, because I've only got a low roof, it's uh, I would have liked them a bit deeper. But, um, but yeah, the front end's all caravan stuff. It's been yeah. wrapped in this uh, white carbon fibre. <laughs> 
So it, Rob? is all of this how you did all of this stuff on your channel? Yeah, yeah. It's all there you there. Go. Okay, so, brilliant. Yeah, so I definitely filmed this bit on the yeah. channel. So you've used the caravan windows as well? Yep, I've got four of them in this uh, van. And then that's um, that's all out of the caravan too, the sofa? That's it, yeah. I would like to recover that in some kind of like leather fabric. Yeah. Uh, but cost-wise, it's going to be like that for a while, I think. So. Yeah. So what's under, underneath, underneath there? Is that old storage, is it? No. Okay. I've got a spare table, it's only a small one, it's only for us, two of us, from myself and Dawn. But underneath there is 120 litre fresh water tank. Just here is my Truma water boiler, which holds about 10 litres of water in there at any one time. Brilliant. Pump. I assume that all came with the caravan? Uh, well, from there onwards, caravan. Yeah. Oh, okay, came with the car, I had to buy that. That was made especially for the van. So the door, you've got another window there, yeah. and the that same leatherette trim. It actually looked really bloody good. <laughs> yeah, well, I filmed this as well, because I had to hinge the door outwards. Okay. And this is all big. You know, it's got foam, expandable foam in there for insulation. So that's the, the outlet for the diesel heater down there. Yeah, you can just right. hear that clicking on now. Yeah. So that's, is that a Chinese one, is it? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is, yeah. yeah. They're just the best, aren't they? Yeah. yeah you, can't, <laughs> you, can't, you can't go wrong with them. No, nah, that's it. And then moving down, so this is the the kitchen in the little control panel you were talking about. Yeah, it's Spunky's NBC. We'll be doing a video on that uh, sooner or later. Yeah. Uh, we'll go a bit more into detail on, on the video. So that's all a custom thing? It's a picture on display, but he has managed to uh, put our own stuff in there as well, like the yeah. uh, gas, uh, what's that, water level, which will empty at the minute, but gas. LPG. That's good LPG. Yeah, um, I've got a 30 litre underslung refuel build gas tank. Also, oh, wow. if you flick across there, it shows you what it's doing at the minute. Obviously, uh, with the solar, what power I'm using. So, what um, what sort of power have you got in here, solar and battery wise? Solar, because it's by facial, 315 uh, watts, or because it's by facial, 360 watts with the sun shining through the. Uh, so yeah. the panel bouncing off the uh, reflective undercoat. Underneath. And then what about your batteries? Batteries. I'll show you the batteries. Oh, you got them in there? Yeah. They're all in there. Okay, clever. That's two six volt, 435 batteries in there. Bam. What, each? Each, yeah. But because it's 12 volts, it's still 435 amps. Oh, yeah, because you've got them in. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just thinking then, you've got 800 odd amps. Like, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, I haven't. It's, uh, it, I did have four six volt batteries, which yeah. were 220 amps, but one of, the, one of them went down, and it took the rest of the bag down, so I had to replace one of them ones in there. So, is there any particular reason why you did it? Space. 12 volt, uh, space. six volt, sorry. space, space, it just compact because that and it goes up to there, right? <laughs> just, just a little bit further beyond there, but basically, they finish up to there, yeah, just space. I needed space, like so. Mm. Clever. I see you've got a sh your shunt there, so that obviously goes into the... Yeah, that goes into uh, the panel. Yeah. It's all Victron stuff, it's all Victron uh, MPPTs, Victron Strunt, uh, Victron BMVs. Yeah, and then you've got your inverter on there. I don't have an inverter. Oh, I right? removed it, yeah. Uh, I left that on there because it would have left a hole otherwise. Okay. But I don't have a 12 volt inverter. Oh. But I'll show you why in the, in, in the okay. carriage. <laughs> and then that's just your lights, is it? And yeah, yeah, against the caravan, old uh, caravan controls. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Let's on there. I can turn my lights on. This is what I can see in the cab as well. Yeah. But I can turn my lights on. That's brilliant. And that's all the working lights on. So you're going to do a video just on yeah. this panel, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, make sure you check that out. Yeah. So I could do that in the cab as well on the um, radio display as well. And I could do that remotely on my phone. And I can check everything on my phone, mm -hmm. on my levels, so that it's all connected up to the internet. That's awesome. Moving on, kitchen. Kitchen, yep. Yeah. Old caravan stuff again. Full size sink, four hob burner. Yep, I've got a grill as well for the oven. Main oven there. It's mad, isn't it? Like, it's all out of a cat. It's just crazy. Yeah, that's it's such a, a good way to do it. Save three grand. Yeah. Just buying the caravan and using the parts. So that's just, is that just a normal. Oh no, so it is a proper camper van fridge, Dometic. It, well, it's a proper caravan fridge, yeah. Okay, it's 120 litres if I remove the ice box inside. Uh, 110 litres 
with the icebox inside, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just a, a Dometic uh, freeway fridge. And then you've got microwave just above there. That's right, yeah. So for that, you say for that you use your generator? I use a generator, yeah. I've got a pure sine wave generator at the back. Yeah. Uh, I'll switch it on in a minute and see how loud it is. Yeah, the end one. <laughs> just the finish of everything is just professional. Really is a good job, man. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Obviously, mm. they've controls for me hot water. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the new standard of self built campers. Yeah. Right here, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's an interesting layout, this one. So, you've actually got almost three rooms in here. A partition, you know, obviously, doing a yard van, you've got ribs either side of the van. Yeah. I use the ribs for each section. So there were your guidelines. There were the guidelines, yeah. Clever. So, and luckily, everything fitted in it because I've got a full size bed in there. And I could just manage to squeeze in the uh, memory foam mattress in there. That just squeezed in. That's a full size double bed. Yeah. So, also, not lengthways, it's just a little bit short, but I managed to squeeze the uh, mattress in anyway. So, this is like the bathroom area. That's right, yeah. Almost. So, we've got a second sink unit there. Yep. Is that just storage underneath, is it? But, uh, underneath there, if you open that door, you can see the. Um, it's like the consuming unit. Mm -hmm. So, that's the 240 system under there yeah and storage my victron bmv up there which is connected to the screen on the front yeah diesel heater controls there some uh, usb sockets and 240 in here as well it feels like a bloody hotel in here does it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. maybe i should have put up some weight in those more Hand, uh, uh, yeah, you know, your, your little samples and stuff. Soap samples, yeah. Awesome. So that's like the the sink area, yeah. and then you got a, a shoilet, is it? Yeah, shoilet, yeah. Another sky. I, mean, I tell you what, you win the award for the amount of skylights in a van. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I got a lot of stick for that. So that's a cassette. It's a. Oh, you got the cassette down. Yeah, here. yeah. It's a FET for two uh, C two fifty toilet. Yeah. Cassettes in there, so I can remove the cassette from inside. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just, did, I just did that for ease. Yeah. The only thing is, it's not an auto refill. I've got to fill it up in there. Oh, so that's the flush. Is yeah, it? yeah. It's yeah. about seven liters. It was about seven liters in there. Oh, brilliant. Is that hot water in the shower as well? Yeah, yeah. It's all hot water. Yeah. Awesome. And then the bedroom, full size double. Yeah. More storage at the back there. That's right. Yeah. The biggest skylight I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> Love it, stargazing in bed. Another window there. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. So that thing there, that's a pass through to the garage then? Yeah, it is, yeah, I can get to the garage from there. The dog door. The dog, or, or the dog kennel, yeah. She's yeah. In there, anyway, so. <laughs> awesome. I'll, so, uh, I'll take you around the back then. Yeah, we'll have a look in the garage. On the outside, you've got a couple of work lights on the side, a couple on the back. Six in total. Yeah. And then an epic mural on the back doors. Maybe it's mural. I remember that video. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Did all that work and somebody noticed that the Union Jack's the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. That's the Ivor Van Jack. Well, oh. got me inside here. It's not already finished in the back of here still. This is the garage. Garage here. I mean, there's still bags of room, aren't there? There is, yeah. No, I've, I've got full of shit in here, haven't we? That's normal, standard. Yeah, it's just tools and spare oil. So that's your Jenny at the back, that's then? That's the Jenny, yeah. That is a beastly looking thing. It's, uh, it's a 3000 watt pure sine wave Jenny. Bloody hell. So, so that's your backup plan? That's my backup plan, and I don't have an inverter. That does the microwave and also. Charges up the batteries yeah. and uh, anything else I need to use on 240. So this is um, this is ducted the exhaust outside so you can actually run it inside so the van. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so is that your grey water tank? That's the grey water tank there, yeah, it's 100 litres of it. Hang on folks, let's just appreciate the underside of his van. <laughs> He's lucky now. <laughs> yeah, but like fully restored. <laughs> that is some work, that is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
years. About six months it took me <laughs> to do the outside of the van and anything mechanical. That's before you can start building the van, so. So is that charging your battery? That's charging my battery, sorry. Even if you went inside the van, yeah. you still won't be able to hear it. That's amazing. So there you go, for a generator in the van, you need to look at this guy's videos. <laughs> that is like... That's no louder than running your van engine. Mm -hmm. What, quieter, yeah, if yeah. anything? Mm -hmm. That's not charging the uh, batteries. That's brilliant. There you go. That is, um, yeah, if you want to know generator in your van, this is your man. <laughs> right, I think that's uh, that's about it. Yep. So, definitely go check out Mark's channel. I think there's about 24 videos of the build, I think there is. Yeah, uh, I'll finish then now. I'm out on my own about, so it's fine. <laughs> I've been really Awesome. Right, well, nice one for that, buddy. Thanks for showing us around. Always right. Cheers, okay. dude. Bye. Right.